Blues, blues overrated. We all outdated. We all so jaded. We all lost love like love's our savior. It's a dark place when it's all about the paper. Cutting pretty cards before they deal you something heinous. I've been studying sitting on my assists. I'm so contemporaneous in love with my behavior. But really, I could probably try and be something greater. Okay, I'm my favorite. You could tell me something different, but I'm What's up? Welcome back to another Watch Me Teach. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I teach third grade in Central California. Today's video is going to be solely about writing. Since St. Patrick's Day was on a Wednesday, we were all online learning. So now we are back in it. It's Friday and I'm pretending like it's St. Patrick's Day. So we are writing, if you found a pot of gold, should you be able to keep it? Why, why not? Give me the reasons. For this opinion writing, I'm using the Oreo strategy and I got my mini anchor charts from the Stellar Teacher. I use all of her mini anchor charts for my writing and I love it, it's simple enough for the kids. I will link it down below. Um, I did do this with my group A, which you can kind of see the green on the board. <gasps> so I did this with group A, but my group A and group B are extremely different. And I just got a new student yesterday. And you know, sometimes you get that one student and that can just change the whole energy vibe of the room. Um, that's what I'm working with. So today might be a little different, but we are working with it. We're going to go with it. And I'm just going to set you down so we can get started. Okay. <laughs> In light of St. Patrick's Day, we're going to do some St. Patrick's writing. So we already drew our pot of gold. Now we're going to write about if you find a pot of gold, should you be able to keep it? Yeah. Okay, now you are going to have to give me your opinion. Tell me what you think and convince me as if I am the leprechaun. Convince me why I should let you keep that pot of gold. Okay, so I'm gonna give you these. This is a mini anchor chart, you'll see it right here. A mini? A mini, yeah, so it's not a big anchor chart like this. It's mini, so you can keep this. Okay, so if we're following Oreo, so, Go ahead and take a look. Why did you write it? Why You're you not. No, no, no. This is just what you follow. This is to help you. So you say, hmm, what do I write next? The first part, we have our O, where we're going to state our opinion. Tell how you feel about the topic or what you believe. And you might see, look at down here. We have three sentence starters. What's the first sentence starter we can use? My opinion. What's the second one? Everyone. What is it? Stop. What does it say? Okay, I'm coming back to you. What does it say? Everyone should. So what's the second one? Everyone should. Thank you. And what's the last one? I believe. I believe. So if you're not sure how to start, you can use one of those three options. Okay? And then you're going to give your reason. And your reason is some reasons or information that supports your opinion. So do you think that you should be able to keep the pot of gold if you find it? Now, how, uh, how are we going to write? Can you answer my question? Uh, what? Do you believe that you should keep the pot of gold if you find it? Yeah. Why not? Keep a lot of money to the gold. To who? Okay, why shouldn't you be able to keep it? Because it shows the rainbow. <laughs> We're trying to write, but people are deciding to be funny and not get with the program. So, if you find a pot of gold, mm -hmm. should you be able to keep it? No. Why not? Because the leprechaun will chase you. No, because the leprechaun then will get sad. You might make the leprechaun sad for its feelings. Because it's like might give you bad luck. Oh, it might give you bad luck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you take his money and, yeah. Yeah, and break into your house and get What's it called if you take something that's not yours? It's bad feeling. Right? Okay, so that could be one thing. In my opinion, I don't think I should be able to keep the pot of gold. No. My reason? I think it would be stealing. Okay, my example, because it's not mine to begin with. I just found it. Or, another reason, I don't want to 
steal from a lucky floor, it's going to give me bad luck. And I really don't want bad luck because then I'm only nine. How long am I gonna have bad luck? That is one way. We can say, I don't believe I should be able to keep it because da 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 da. Or flip it. You find the pot of gold. I looked it up and if you find a pot of gold, that's equivalent to $420,000. <laughs> I don't so if right. you found, let's say you found that pot of gold, you followed the rainbow, you found it fair and square. What's that saying? That goes, um, finders this keepers. Be real, be yeah. Finders keepers, losers weepers. What would you do if you had four hundred and twenty? Buy a house, gold. I know. Pay I won't pay the bills. Might help my parents pay some bills. I know. Maybe we don't want bad luck, so maybe we want to give back and, and help people, right? Maybe I, I feel bad keeping all of that gold to myself. So what's one way house that house we can help or give back? We should go to Leprechaun. Hey, Leprechaun, can you give me some of your money so I can um, help the poor uh, for vacant houses? If you say yes, that means I can do something. You are convincing him, hey, I don't want to steal from you. I don't want to take it, but I did find it. So maybe if you give me some of that, so maybe it would be, in my opinion, I should be able to have some of that gold because I would love to give back to the poor. I would love to be able to provide shelter for homeless people. I would love to feed homeless animals. So that's what we're going to write. You don't have your opinion. There is no right or wrong with this, okay? If you feel like I should be able to keep the pot of gold because I'm gonna help people and whatever else, or I don't believe I should keep it because this does belong to you, right? It would be stealing or I don't want bad luck or whatever your opinion is, that's what you're going to share. Okay, take out your notebooks. Wait, what do you mean? No, take out your notebooks. Oh, what? to combine both. So, up here, do you have, I shouldn't. No, I, I want, I should. I thought you were saying that you shouldn't. No, I'm not saying so I should. I'm telling you to write this. Okay. I'm taking what you have and I'm putting it into how we should write the sentence. Okay? Um, so you have, in my opinion, in my opinion, I shouldn't, this 
this word right here. Your sentence was really great because you put, I shouldn't steal from I shouldn't. a leprechaun. Let me look at how to spell it. Right, here we go. Left, right. I have to waste all of this? No, no, no. 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 You guys followed the the formula. He wanted to twist it into his own a little bit, so that's where I'm helping him. In my opinion, I shouldn't steal from a leprechaun. Wait, can I write that down? What did you write down? You need to stick with your thoughts, babe. Your thoughts. Your thoughts are good thoughts. And plus, this is your opinion so everyone's opinion can be different and that's good okay so we're gonna move into the reason now I don't know. okay what? what do you have written down that can be suffered okay uh, then yours is good did you put should or shouldn't should it okay and what why not you may have bad luck okay I, I now i want you to think of one of your reasons i'm gonna write down a bunch of reasons that we brainstorm together, you are only writing the ones that you truly believe. So, what's one of the reasons why you shouldn't be able to keep it? Okay, these are extreme. All right, because now we don't know for sure that's what's going to happen if we take the pot of gold, right? But it could mean those things. I like where it went, where he called it. What's it called when you take from someone something that's not yours? Uh, you told it. You told it. To steal, right? What's another reason we might not want to steal someone from someone? Because that will hurt the feelings. That's, yeah. Okay. So that's where if we use that's this one. That's where the good look happens. Let's do this. That's where we can switch because, see, if we use this one, we can say, because it is bad luck. Stealing is bad and would hurt his feelings. But. So what about you that can we have some money to buy a new house and new food and help okay. the poor people? But, but I could ask the leprechaun for some of his goal to do. What can we summarize all that as? To do what? To help. To, people. Oh, I love that. Oh. This one right here is kind of a way where we say we shouldn't, but we kind of switch it to what we would do if we did have some of that kind of gold, which is good because we know we shouldn't steal, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But we're asking. So now we have to convince. So now we have to convince the leprechaun why we should, why he should give us some of his pot of gold. Now all of these ones with these, excuse me, with these bullets next to them, you are only writing what you want. You don't have to write all of this. You are writing the ones that you feel, and you can add your own. My parents. To help your parents do what? To help your parents, or why do you want to use it to help your parents? Because they do what? They do a lot for us. Huh? They take care of us. Our parents. Oh my goodness, we're just, you guys are just kiddos. We need our parents, right? Oh yeah. So I would use it to help my parents because, you're okay. It's stuff for us. They help us. They buy us stuff, they buy us food. Oh, uh, they, they help me. Coffee. Let's go ahead and write those two. Go ahead, um, write those. Pick the ones that you feel fit for you, okay? Wonderful, very specific. So let's give one reason for your parents and family, and one reason for your sister, okay? Cool, perfect. Yes, we should show her all. I love that. I agree. Do you have any ideas? We should play a leprechaun cahoot. I can her up. Oh, she loves cahoots too. You don't even know that girl. She's the cahoot queen. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'll, I'll put that in my mental note. What is something else that you could do with the money? What is something you personally want? It can be crazy. I want a car. You want a car? What kind of car do you want? I should tell Leprechaun, come on, let's go to the store. Let's, come on, bring your money and let's go wherever you want. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll go shopping with you. Let's go get your cool little mini Leprechaun car. So these are our reasons and examples. When we are done, when we have our reason examples, we close with our opinion again. 
And we say, that is why. I don't want to write all yours. Okay. You don't write all of it. You write the ones that fit you. And can we draw something? That's what completes it, yes. I yeah. asked you for a piece of paper. Yeah. I asked, I said, three. Hey, you want to see my Spongebob one? Guys, finish your writing. <laughs> we got to write all of this on that piece of paper. <laughs> can we not do that? Can we just Hey, write. What country do these emojis represent? <laughs> Japan, England, Tanzania, or Egypt? Oh, this is easy. This is so easy. easy. I know this one. I'm Yay! Yeah. Oh, Next one. Please. These emojis represent what book? <laughs> True or false? These these are emoji people dancing to the YMCA. <laughs> What book series do these emojis represent? Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. Okay, I am not going to lie, today did not go as planned. Um, just a lot of things up in the air. They're pulling out kids for testing constantly. At one point, I only had two kids in my room. Um, we have a new student, which I said is just kind of messing with things. I am also not in my usual state, which the kids can very well be just feeling that. Kids are very emotional creatures and I don't have to say anything and I'm sure they could feel it even though I'm trying to be normal. So having a kid break down crying in the middle of the class, a new kid thinking is funny even though not, and just riles the other ones up. So today was not a normal day, but it was a day in the life of a third grade teacher, which is what this is all about. My lesson did not go as according to plan. As you can probably tell, it was not as smooth as my other ones, but I also feel that's why it's important to show you because a lot of you are first year teachers or going to be teachers soon, or just are teachers and know this is how it goes sometimes. So, so sorry this episode of Watch Me Teach was not as successful. I will follow up with another writing one that will show a smooth writing lesson because I know when I first started teaching writing, that was a major struggle for me. So I will try to schedule another writing video soon. As for now, today is done, it is Friday. I'm gonna go home and relax. I still have to do a pork cards this weekend, but I'm pretending that I don't. And that's it. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.